Hello everybody, I'm going to be doing Activity Jungle again. We're going to be looking at the low, lower stats build. I'm going to try and see how low I can go with stats and still beat the map. So as you can see, I do have some lower stats there. I have removed some items and I have respect my heroes accordingly. And once again, I will note that you do not need to do the code on the very first... As long as you have a portal gun, you don't need to do the code right away. You can definitely, definitely get away. So... I'm going to start by collecting our mana, and I've started putting my auras right here now, that seems to work pretty well, oops, that's the wrong one, now note there's a lot of little variations, a lot of different things you can do to build this map, I'm basically trying to build this in the way that I think will be the most successful for people with lower stats, and go from there, so now we're actually going to be testing it out with, these are not low stats compared to what you know, most of you are running, these are probably higher stats than you have, but these are definitely a lot lower than what I have. I have put all of my stats somewhere pretty close to the 3,000 range, and just over. Keeping a few key things, such as aura range, at a, at a pretty good number. So there we go, second aura stat goes down there. This one I like to put on that second step. That's just kind of where I like it. Okay, now let's go with the buff beams. As you can see, also having chains of stats on my EV there. I left damage a little high, but damage doesn't scale on buff beams, buff beams insanely well. So I'm thinking that it really shouldn't end up being the end of the world. There's four. build the buff beam to put the minions on, and of course you do want to build this other buff beam as it will catch, okay these auras, if these auras don't get buffed for some reason, you can just do this, build another buff beam and then immediately sell it, and that will extend it onto the other buff beam, because it's pretty close, it's not, you know, it won't be off by much. Build that wall, build that buff beam. That wall, and build this wall. Okay, there we go. This area is now walled in. It's got the ores protecting it. Let's move on to the traps. We've finished off everything except for reflect beams. Oh, I don't think I've done anything to my traps. No, I haven't. I have not respect those, but it's really not. I don't think that, you know, traps will be the defining mainly gas. There's the one proximity mine trap. Uh, at the suggestion of somebody else, he wanted to know if this is going to work, so I will put it right there, and we're going to find out if that works or not, not being on the buff beam. There we go, did you see where I placed that gas trap? Try and keep it back, of course, as before, so that these auras will extend past where the gas trap is. Of course, if your gas traps are smaller, you will want to move them more this way so that they catch the shark in a lot easier. <coughs> okay, let's move on to the rest of it as minions. As you can see, even my minions have been respect. I have absolutely no idea how this can turn out, guys. Note here, when I build this minion, see, I want him to be able to shoot stuff that's over here. So I'm going to place him... And also, I don't want ogres to be able to swing at the crystal, so I'm going to place him right there notice how he's kind of in line or in front of that wall and the next one also will be kind of pretty far out if you place them right here ogres can actually hit the crystal sometimes when they're a little overzealous <coughs> so you want to be very careful about that <coughs> oh i got some prawns stuck in my throat <coughs> okay and we're definitely going to want to get a dps hero out I will choose to try and run the Jester. Let's hope that works out for me. Should though. As I'm mainly doing the Jester because it's got awesome upgrade speed and my genie. With it. Okay, so that's the thing you're going to want to do is get those buff teams up as soon as possible. And sadly, because I am doing solo play, there won't be as many enemies to get mana off of, so 
definitely going to be hurting for mana a little bit. But we'll see if we can uh, make do. Should be able to. Okay, where are these enemies coming from? I need to make sure I get as much mana with my genie as possible. Sweet. Oh no, and we kind of run out of mana. That's alright though, I think we'll be okay. Even though this other buff beam being upgraded. Buff beam. Okay, now we're gonna go back to doing the minions. Now we're on the second wave note. You know, you can do DPS on that first wave, it really doesn't hurt. Uh, we're gonna throw <coughs> one archer up there, and the whole point of that archer is he's going to be there just specifically to try and deal with any wyverns that come. And you definitely want to have two mages here for that extra healing power, as one just doesn't really cut it. It definitely won't heal fast enough. You could always look into a third one if you wanted, that actually might really help, so I'm actually going to try that out this game, considering that we always end up with the extra... We always end up with some extra MU left over anyways, that we just put into a lot of archers on the wall. So this game, I will try that, see what happens. Oh, you're kidding me. Ah, damn you. There we go. Oh my god. This is not cool. This is not cool. No! Oh good, I did switch. The second there, I thought I was not going to be able to switch. I did not get any of the mage powers out because I was too busy talking with the minions, I would say. But... We can live with that. It's also quite nice to have the Jester out just because of that move tower ability. That's definitely... Sometimes at the very start of the map an Ogre Chopper will stick around there and you will need to deal with it. But a lot of times you don't. <clears throat> Especially once you get that magic missile build. It's not going to be that important to have it there. Okay. Now if you had teammates, they would obviously be helping you upgrade everything. Ores and buff beams obviously are very important, as most people already know. Uh, the buff beams are super important. Usually I won't 3-star buff beams until I've actually upgraded a lot of other stuff. But on this map, I definitely like to 3-star those up be the buff beams right away, because I need every little bit of damage resistance that my walls and my minions can get as well as every inch of range possible for those for us. So that's kind of why that comes in. Ah! Uh, that was not cool, wasted a lot of mana. Upgrading just one minion. The reason why I say wasted a lot of mana is because it does make a difference. <clears throat> um, not always upgrading all of your... Sorry, everything like... The higher the upgrade level, the less effective it is per the mana cost. That's all. That's all I'm trying to get at. Farm some mana off this ogre. And I'll be able to fill up again. We can the last one. Now we the wrist. And he's dead. Okay, now let's get ready. I'm gonna build the mage towers right away and then we'll finish off our minions. Oh, and the reflect beams. So I'm pretty sure I've shown you stats for every hero along the way. Notice Mage has also been nerfed. <clears throat> uh, in my opinion, I think a lot of this map comes down to how strong your DPS hero is. Obviously not the whole map is decided by that. <clears throat> but I feel like as if that's probably, you know, very fine uh, chance of being able to win or not. But then again, that last wave can be brutally hard. Absolutely brutally hard. I, When I've played with other players who don't have as good of tower stats or have a different build, all those ogres at that last wave, they are just ridiculous. How many of them are on their walls? But then again, I don't always agree with their build orders. So, okay, let's see if I can get that mage built in time and positioned correctly on the wall. 
Ah, no! I was not able to get the other mage moved. I would have loved to have been able to move the mage here away from the wall. Okay guys, once again I will be demoing the fact that you can do the code for the turtles. So we're going to do our up, up, and we'll do our down, down. Almost missed that second down, pressed a little too quick. Uh, also important to note, turtles can only be activated twice, so really when you're doing that down, you, uh, the up or the down, you can just spam your use key. Anyways, left, right. Let's head way back over here for another left. Hey turtle, come out of your shell. I just want to say hi. I want to be friendly. We go back to our right. And then BA. If any of you were wondering how this code was found out originally, a little hint, little easter egg on the map. You go into the bridge here and turn around. Ah, it's hard to see. There you go, there's a QR code there. You scan the QR code and it asks you Konami anyone? And Konami refers to Konami code, which is a cheat code that's used in a lot of video games. Anyways, we'll hit up this last chest in combat phase and you can see, yes, it activates the turtle. Okay guys, I'd just like to point out that this is the end of wave 11 and look at how much I have upgraded. Everything's one star, a lot of things are three star, except for that wall, so that doesn't matter. You guys should have no problem getting this map fully upgraded before you finish. So keep that in mind. Fully upgraded, all of your towers are 50% stronger, but that means a lot. 50% because you kill them fast so they don't get as far, they don't take as much damage, blah 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 blah. Ah. Oops. Okay, so let's try this portal gun. There we go. Notice how the grate is still locked even though I have unlocked the secret, so that's why you need the portal gun. And now let's get out, and most importantly, let's get a real weapon out. Sadly though, my entire UI has disappeared. Pretty much everything just disappeared because, <laughs> because of uh, having that second tune there. So anyways, we have the two tunes, we're going to make the boss just a little bit harder. I'm going to get my guy here so that he can hero boost hopefully without dying, and this is really, really going to be annoying not knowing how much uh, life I have left, so it will be interesting. <laughs> I have to be careful not to die, especially those rocket salvos can really hurt. I have a feeling this monk is going to get owned in the face, and we'll see if the build can hold up with these lower stats against the boss without having anyone back at base to repair. Now, if you're having trouble, you can always have a second or a third player just using Monk Tower Boost, and that makes a huge difference at that main central double west crystals. Oh no, that's repair. No, 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 don't attack the monk, attack me, attack me. I'm stronger and bigger. Okay, boss is trollolololol, easy with two players, 330. Well, easy for me. And we get a turtle! Yay!